Hello from TerraCycle headquarters. This is Tom Zaki, the founder and CEO. I am pleased for this opportunity to present this short overview of our company to you. Thank you for your time. On this Earth Day, we want to take a look at the future of environmentalism, eco-capitalism. Joining us now is Tom Sackey, the founder and CEO of TerraCycle. Hey, it's a big win. It's good for the planet, good for the economy. Tom Zaki is the founder and CEO of TerraCycle. He's got a new solution for all of that waste. At a new eco-capitalist company called TerraCycle, whose motto is, there's no such thing as garbage. TerraCycle is going strong. Now they're making tote bags, kites, pens, and even flower pots all from garbage. Like everybody wins. We save the earth. Yeah. They get additional branding. You get a new product for kids. Everybody wins. Exactly. I love this, man. How'd you get yeah. so smart? I'm Amandeep Bangu in New Jersey, America, to meet a company that's developing technologies to revolutionize the way we think about rubbish. TerraCycle was set up over 10 years ago by Tom Zaki and is now considered the world leader in recycling waste, traditionally thought of as non-recyclable. Hi Tom, I'm Amandeep. Hi, nice to meet you. Thanks for coming to TerraCycle, really Thank appreciate it. Thank you for it. having us. I love the look of your office. One of the tricks to garbage is don't think of it as garbage. And if you don't think of it as garbage, it isn't garbage. It's just another raw material. TerraCycle takes materials that are traditionally bound for landfill and invents ways of recycling them into valuable plastics, which are sold to manufacturers. This reduces the amount of rubbish that ends up in the ground, while also reducing the amount of crude oil that's extracted to make new plastics. The company, which has an annual turnover of approximately $20 million, operates in 24 countries worldwide. We found that, without exception, any form of waste can be recycled. Crisp bags can also be melted into this granule. This is a plastic pellet that's entirely used crisp bags. And then that could be made into something like this, which is a dog bowl. We use chewing gum, we can recycle into a plastic. This plastic is made from 30% used chewing gum. And the human species has just innovated so fast that our materials are so different that nature hasn't caught up with being able to do it herself. And that's where other human systems like TerraCycle or other companies that try to look at what we do can come in and mimic that idea and create circular systems. Our collectors are the most vital aspect of our business. We have close to 26 million people sending us this waste. And that whole cost is funded by major consumer product companies because they found that the public was craving a solution to their waste. Students at the Woodridge, New Jersey school are competing in the TerraCycle Playground Challenge. Ranchvale Elementary have been named the top collectors in the Lunch Kit Brigade. For every pound of cigarette waste Foxwood sends to recycling company TerraCycle, a dollar will be donated. Frito-Lay chose Hamilton Township with a Chip for Change program with help from TerraCycle. National Elementary students are raising money for a new playground by cashing in their drink pouches. And if you send in your Little Bites pouches, you earn points from TerraCycle. I see it turning into a backpack. These devices are going to be recycled. It's an innovation from GSK and its partner, TerraCycle. We've raised thousands of dollars for schools and for charities with an army of literally more than 13,000 brigade leaders. Well, over the last two days, we've installed 110 of these cigarette recycling receptacles all across the city of Vancouver. TerraCycle, a global recycling company, is installing recycling receptacles. The city of New Orleans is turning wasted cigarette butts into cash, partnering with TerraCycle Inc. Best part, doesn't cost taxpayers anything. Well, Seattle has a new plan to keep cigarette butts from clogging up streets. They'll work with a company called TerraCycle. For every pound of cigarette waste collected, TerraCycle and partners will donate a dollar toward the Keep America Beautiful cigarette litter prevention program. The kind of trash destined to sit in landfills for a billion years, TerraCycle collects and gives to their scientists who transform it into brand new everyday products. The cigarette butts are separated into tobacco and paper which is composted. The filter is what can be turned into plastic. So this is a finished shipping pallet that is made from our recycled cigarette waste and it's also mixed with other recycled plastics. The materials are first separated. The plastics are then shredded down into flakes and then processed into pellets. TerraCycle is taking dirty diapers and melting them into park benches. Capri Sun, what do you do when the fun is done? You can upcycle. Empty Capri Sun packs can get made into something new again. Ah, oh, cool. Capri Sun has teamed up with TerraCycle. Thank you. 
Garnier is proud to have partnered with TerraCycle, whose purpose is to eliminate the idea of waste. Join our beauty brigade. Just collect your empty packs of Johnson's baby wipes and send your packs to our friends at TerraCycle. They'll turn them into stylish, eco-responsible products. Friday, August 7th, Human Resources is back. Would it be all right if I just took a peek inside your garbage can? With a fresh new season. Still smells. They're still recycling everything, even their staff. The Canadian office was eight people when I left. I think Canadians are a nice people, very peaceful. They brought us Nickelback. They're taking the trash out of TV one day at a time. Out day one. The worst day of my life. Out day two. The second worst day of my life. All new season of Human Resources, Friday, August 7th, on Pivot. The word garbage simply doesn't exist in nature. Every output of one organism is the most important input for the next one. And that's how we have to think as well in the human system, instead of really thinking in a very linear way, the way we do today, which is extract materials, turn it into a product, and throw it out. We need to be in the, in, in the thought process of take materials, use them, then repurpose them into something else, then use them again, and keep doing that indefinitely.